the hanger appeal of this dress is, uh, you know, it leaves much to be desired, let's say. For those returning, welcome back. For those who are new, welcome, welcome. Everyone is welcome here. Um, in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about a dress that I recently made. Um, and I'm just gonna to speak to you about, yeah, how I made it really and any hints and tips that I have. So I made a faux wrap dress. The hanger appeal of this dress is not the greatest, but it is a lovely dress, I promise you. And for any of you who follow me on Instagram, you'll have probably seen this already, because I did a little Instagram post of my progress. Um, so I wore this to an engagement party I went to a couple of weekends ago. I teamed it with this blazer that I made many moons ago. It's the first blazer that I made, and I still love it to today. I get lots of compliments on this, it's my favorite. And then I teamed it with this bag that I got from TK Maxx which has to be my favourite shop. It's like a little shoulder bag, but also a clutch. It's perfect. It's got a little pocket here and then hidden pockets inside. And then these shoes that I got from Next last summer. There we go. Left them right, properly. Um, which again, I love. Metallic. Get a bit of spark on your feet. So, with the dress, I made it in quite a rush and I've made a mistake because I was rushing but I'll talk to you about that in a sec. Um, so I started off with a pattern to help me get the shape rather than making a whole new one because I just didn't have the time. And I started with this Prima pattern which you can get from for free from the magazine. It's from 2014 so it's quite an old pattern um, and it's just a, a wrap dress really but it's um, pattern is for a jersey dress and I made my dress in poly crepe so I had to amend it a little bit and the actual shape of the wrap dress is different to mine so I had to edit the pattern once I started making it. What I did to start with is that I traced out the front and back um, panels of the dress so I could get the actual shape that I wanted and once I did that I then modified the front and back panels so that it came into the sketch came into the shape of the dress that I had sketched. The things that I did is I made the wrap around the front um, lower. So this bit here, on my one it's a lot lower and the hem is different and it's shorter as well. And then in addition, I added a zip to the back because on here, as you can see, there's no zip because it's got an actual wrap of ties and I'm not a fan of ties on dresses. Um, I may change my mind because I do often, but for this dress I definitely didn't want any ties and long tails hanging around. I just wanted it to be quite clean and sleek. Um, so that's the bits I added in and I took off the collar as well. My dress does not have a collar. To do all those things I had to make it wider to accommodate the fact that there'd be no stretch because that's a jersey pattern like I said and I used crepe which is woven so it has a very little stretch if any stretch at all and because the right side and left side of the wrap were going to be different length hems because I wanted to have it asymmetric hem for an extra bit of feature at the front because otherwise it would just be quite a plain regular pencil wrap dress. Uh, wow that's a bit of a mouthful to say. Because I wanted the hems to be asymmetrical and different on the left side and right side I made different front panels for the left and for the right and then I used the back panel pretty much as it is again obviously had to make it wider because it's a jersey pattern and I used a woven fabric um, and then also to add in the zip and then the sleeves I changed so I didn't use the pattern sleeves again because they're jersey and I also wanted my sleeves to finish a bit differently a bit more of a flute shape so I used a sleeve pattern that I'd previously made and just adapted it so that it was slightly wider to give a bit more volume in the sleeve. And, um, and then yeah, it was a bit more of a three quarter length sleeve on it. I was really pleased with the dress, how it finished out in the end. Um, but I did make a mistake. <laughs> Put in an invisible zip, 
um, obviously because I wanted to be quite concealed and I didn't want it to be a big gaping metal zip at the back. I'm trying to keep with the sleek and cleanness, but in my haste to input the zip, I put the wrong length in. So I put in a length that literally just got the zip down to my waist and didn't reach my hips at all. And as I, I would say the general population are, my hips are not the same <laughs> width as my waist, so there was no way I was getting that dress on or off because my shoulders aren't the same width as my waist either. So. I was pretty much never going to get the dress on. So what I did as a little hack to actually be able to get the dress on and to maintain the faux wrap of it, I had to insert this piece of elastic and it basically holds the dress together once it's on. Um, the zip is a now just a feature on the dress more than anything, more than being a functional zip, but I think it's fine. Um, and how I did the, how I inserted the elastic was I, where I wanted the wrap to cross over, I just did a break in the seam, um, but before I did that I stitched it up above and below where I wanted to do the break so I could secure the stitch and then not unravel the rest of the dress. So once I did that, I then measured out my piece of elastic, so what I did first was to take a piece of elastic and wrap it around my waist and pull it to the tension that I wanted it to be as I was wrapping it around, then I cut it there, so the amount of plastic that I actually cut off was a lot smaller than my waist, but it would stretch around and sit around my waist quite comfortably, and then from there I attached it to the left side of the dress, and it's in the left seam that I made the insertion um, so I attached it to the left side of the dress and fed it through the hole that I created and then attached it to the tip of the wrap on the right side of the dress um, and then so it wraps around so then once it's on my person sits inside the elastic um, band um, and the dress it clips on with a popper a little black popper button. So I really love this dress, it's really quite comfortable. I think I will make another one but with a proper zip uh, this time. Um, but it's a really easy dress, I, I, um, I do like a good wrap dress. The only difficulty with them is, I will say, is that it's always really hard to get both the wraps to sit um, across your chest like evenly so it protects all your modesty. It's almost like it's really easy to get one side done but then to get the other side to sit the same. It's quite tricky, and that's what I found with this dress. At first I thought, yeah, I've got it, it's fine. Then as soon as I got it on, I was like, how has that happened? How is one slightly lower and slightly looser than the other? Um, even with my elastic band, um, I guess it's one of those things. Practice makes perfect, as they say. So we'll continue to practice. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. As always, like, share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.